Yay! It's Booktubeathon day one. I'm so excited. I'm also a little bit frazzled because I'm late, so I am... It's morning. I'm gonna get on a train and read for like an hour and a bit. So that is what I'm doing. I will show you the books on the train I'm bringing through with me because I can't decide which one to read and which one I'm gonna read on the way back. And yay, it's the first day. Okay, I need to go because I'm gonna be late. back home and I finished this book. This is my first booktubeathon read. This is Blueback by Tim Winton and it is the challenge with the author who has a last name who has the first letter as your last name which is W. So first challenge is completed. Very exciting. Um, this morning I was very like all over the place um, and I had a very interesting start to my train journey. But this book was definitely very peaceful and it kind of calmed me down and it was just a wonderful read and exactly what I needed and it was really great too because on the train like you saw I was like surrounded by water for a lot of the way um, and this involves water a lot. It's just a really peaceful, beautiful story. I love the writing style. I'm definitely going to be reading more Tim Winton books and yeah this is just one of those like really peaceful, not too long, not too short books um, about someone's life. And it's very, involves a lot of nature and involves the sea a lot. And it's just really beautiful and yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, so I'm probably going to give this like 4 or 4.5 out of 5. Um, and the books that I took with me on the train were these two books, Wonder and Persepolis. I don't know which one I'm going to read next, probably Wonder, I'm not sure. I will see, because I don't like reading um, graphic novel type books when it's night time, I don't know why but I think I'll probably read Wonder. Um, and then I also bought a book today for school. I bought Roxana by Daniel Defoe. I have to read this this week or next week, but I want to kind of like be a hit on things. So this is a book that I bought. I might read this as my challenge for like one of the challenges is to read the most recent book you've bought or one of the most recent. So I bought this book. I actually need to read it for school. And I'm not looking forward to it. I don't really like Defoe, so I don't know if I'm gonna like this, but you know, go on with positivity. Like, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be wonderful, I'm gonna enjoy it so much. Don't know what it's about, but... It says, Roxana Defoe's last and darkest novel is the autobiography of a woman who has traded her virtue at first for survival and then for fame and fortune. That sounds interesting, actually. Also, I'm losing my voice a little bit. Um, and then... I came out and a wonderful thing happened. This was here. So we're gonna do like a little unboxing. Um, or on paper, whatever this is in my voice. What's going on? Okay. The book that I got is this book, which you can't see yet. This book. Um, the Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. Um, this is a vintage children's classic, so you guys know how much I love them, and it's the orangey one. Um, I love the typography on this. I've wanted it for a long time. It went on sale, and I was like, hey, got the, like, notification from the book poster that something on your wish list was on sale, so had to get it, and I've been wanting to read this for a really long time, and now I have it, and I might even read it this week because it's a recent purchase, so yes, very excited about that. I'm gonna go read. So it's several hours later and it's the end of day one. I had a pretty good day. I read one book, Blue Back by Tim Winton, and I started reading Wonder by RJ Palacio, which I'm doing so far, and I'm only a little bit into it. I'm gonna keep reading like, after I finish this. Um, and yeah, it's pretty good so far. I'm excited to see what happens. Um, I'm definitely gonna spend this time on Instagram tomorrow and like just sit down and read more. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do about the challenges because they get announced at 8pm my time so I might film it tomorrow and then like add it on at the end of this video or I might put it into tomorrow's video, all depends. Um, also, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather right now. Um, I'm feeling like weak and hot and cold and you know that feeling so hopefully that will just be like a temporary thing and tomorrow when I wake up I will be feeling great and energized and ready to read but if not then I will just have to keep reading because this is a booktubeathon. You just gotta tough it out and stuff. 
and my face feels really hot right now. But yeah, that is the end of day one. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you're doing booktube on, good luck. I hope you have or are having a great day one, and that you're reading lots, and I keep clapping. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Bye.